Hi everyone, it's my day five with COVID. I'm still stuck in this room. Obviously, I do go out in the morning. I do feel a lot better. I feel like my third day probably was the worst. Um, again, no shortness of breath, um, no fever for the past 24 hours or so. Been sleeping very well. And um, uh, the only thing that's been bothering me, it's a uh, cough a little bit. I've noticed uh, having productive cough now. There is a phlegm that comes out when I cough. But other than that, um, not much body ache. As far as my sneezing, it has stopped since day three. Uh, and uh, basically lethargic a little bit. I have not worked out for the past uh, three days. So Saturday, Sunday, and today, I did not work out. I postponed my workouts. I, I felt like I need to keep my energy. I don't want to overexert myself. What I did today was I did do some walking down the driveway all the way down to my mailbox and back. It's about 400 feet or so. So I did that about 20 times, just a, a normal walk. And I had my Apple Watch and I had my pulse oximeter to see my oxygen level and everything was good while I was doing it. I felt good being out in the sun and doing the walks. As usual, the kids came out, we kept our distance and we uh, talked, uh, played. Tian brought his new uh, uh, money gun and uh, he made it work and we had some fun with that and they told me some stories. Um, they have not gone to school today. We kept them home. Uh, we informed the school that they possibly were exposed to me maybe possibly a day before I find out. They are negative, but the protocol says they have to stay home for two weeks. So they're not gonna go to school this week and they will start next Monday. But they're doing some homework online and as usual, Karen is taking care of that and she's been a trooper. Uh, been eating well, I sometimes have to kind of uh, force myself to eat because I don't have a great appetite but I do eat wanting to make sure I get enough nutrition plenty of water I'm forcing myself to drink a lot, lot of water and taking my vitamins um, all the vitamin C's D and zinc and all that stuff I'm taking all that I haven't really had to take any Tylenol today so I feel I have uh, uh, gone over the hump I feel like it, but hopefully I'm right. As far as the test, I haven't really done any testing yet because I think it's too early for me to test. Um, first day, uh, obviously Monday, I had a few conference calls, which I did, taking care of a lot of business, talking to some of the patients uh, as usual, and um, taking care of some of the emails that I have had and then uh, trying to catch up with some readings. So, so far so good. Um, no new development. I have very dry mouth and my lips are very chapped. I'm trying to keep them very moisturized. Uh, it, it is a sign of dehydration, but I have really kept myself hydrated. Uh, drinking a ton of water. I'm going to the bathroom a, a lot, so that means I am hydrated. But for some reason, I still have the dry mouth and some uh, part of my lips is chapped. It could have been from the first night or two. Uh, so that's that. Other than that, um, nothing to report. Uh, all is good. I feel like I am uh, turning a corner and uh, I will keep you guys posted again. I definitely think if you are having symptoms and you are sick, uh, one of the most important thing would be keeping yourself hydrated. Drink a ton of water and make sure you are also taking some electrolytes because when you drink too much water, you might be um, diluting and getting rid of a lot of electrolytes in your body. So make sure you mix some electrolytes in your, in your water. Maybe drink some uh, Pedialyte, things like that. Take your vitamins. Um, make sure you have a way to 
um, measure your oxygen level so something like a 20 bucks um, Amazon uh, pulse, pulse oximeter would be good for you to buy and keep at home even if you're not sick that's something you should buy and have it would be a good thing to have just in case if anyone gets sick all the vitamins that I mentioned vitamin C E D zinc all that stuff I would definitely buy it and keep it at home uh, Pedialyte buy it keep it at home all those things just in case if you God forbid get sick you need to have those things but definitely buy that um, pulse oximeter from Amazon is about maybe 18 20 bucks that would be something good to buy and uh, for sure if you have symptoms do not hesitate go get tested immediately isolate yourself I've seen families who um, do that a little later and everyone in the family gets sick so as soon as you feel like you're coughing something is not right keep your distance isolate yourself in a room till you go get tested it's not worth for the family to get sick I got lucky everybody in my family is negative um, as soon as I find out I, I had separated myself and um, again sometimes you're lucky sometimes you don't know even the symptoms are not showing so um, it's not your fault if everyone else gets sick but if you do have the signs and symptoms please separate yourself immediately well hope this is uh, helping you guys uh, I'll keep you posted again tomorrow love you and uh, uh, have a good night bye